you guys may have recognized Jared from a video that uh, was, was pretty highly shared on social media uh, in a rest situation where he was able to utilize some of the skills he's learned over the years. So we walk over to try to control, you know, we're already calling for more officers to respond, but now we have minutes before the more officers can respond in the area to help us out. So we need to be able to gain control over what's going on. So in those kind of situations, you got to find the, the aggressor, find the main people. So we found the main two. Uh, my partner goes after one of them and uh, he takes the guy down. I go after the other one and uh, the video doesn't have sound, but the guy's saying, hey, I'm going to knock you out or I'm going to F you up, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So uh, I take him down. I use a, a duck under takedown. Show us. Leg. So, he's up. so I kind of just changed my level, went here, went underneath, picked up. He went down. And as soon as he went down, I landed in uh, kind of a neon belly situation right here like this. Um, he's underneath me. He's kind of just passive resistant. He's not actively resisting, not punching at me, anything like that. He's just grabbing, he's telling me no, I'm not gonna cuff up, that kind of thing. So I keep just changing from here to here. I'm looking at my surroundings, telling people to get back. Their friends are trying to get involved. I'm switching, pushing people back, um, making sure my partner's good. My partner ends up getting mounted right here. So the officers that were responding to help, they end up going after and helping. The partner who was on the bottom of the mount. Yeah, so he, he ends up getting, starts getting in the worst of the situation. So they all surround him to help him. So everybody kind of dog piles this guy, you know, to get him in, into custody. So I'm dealing with this guy. He's just being passive resisting. Doesn't want to flip over for me anything. So I go here. I go to a Kimura situation. His friends are right here in front of me. I switch. I go here. I try to drag him, and he won't, he won't come with me. Um, so then I go back to here. I let go of it. I end up in kind of a, a straight arm lock situation, and he's just not feeling pain at all. Uh, his, his arm popped, nothing. No pain, he's just looking me in the face and cussing me out and everything else. So kind of just go back and start pinning it. I switch back and forth, uh, knee on belly on both sides, just keep controlling the situation, keep controlling the guy. He ends up um, grabbing at my groin, like, you know, trying to grab my groin, trying to do things to get me off of him, that kind of thing. Uh, just control, I'm waiting for him to kind of break underneath me. I see him coming, so I kind of know now it's time to try to get this guy cuffed. I've already been on top of him. So I go here, I go underneath the arm, just like this, switch, I pull. Once I pull, I go to a front headlock situation, and I go here. Once I go here, my partner that comes in, he goes and controls the legs. I flip him back up, go into a Kimura, and use that as the pain compliance, mm. then his other arm comes out. And that's how we gain control of him. Excellent. Um, there was one critical detail that you left out. What was that? When your hat fell off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, uh, I paid. Bro. I paid for that hat. So I, I was gonna make sure. <laughs> his hat fell off, and in the most calm way manner, while the guy was fighting for his life, you put it back on. <laughs> yeah, it just shows how like calm. Like, I feel. I, I've been in a lot of situations in just the three short years I've been a police officer. The two short years I've been a police officer. Right? It's just how calm I can be in those kind of fights. I never take things personally. I never, I, I never feel personally mad at the people. I never see red when I'm fighting in a, in a situation. I'm always just kind of controlled and I know where I want him and I know how I want the situation to go and I feel like I can dictate the pace. And so just the control aspects that you guys yeah. preach yeah. on. For, it's just such a breath of fresh air to see so much control and as a result, so little need for striking and you know in that situation an officer who had less control less confidence and less composure would have been more aggressive more likely it's beautiful to watch and uh keep up the good work bro we appreciate Thank you, you. Thank now you. let's give him a hand you guys <laughs>